You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. The Deputy Commander-in-Chief of the Royal Cambodian Armed Forces and Commander-in-Chief of the Army, Lieutenant General Hun Manait, has denied allegations that he was behind Tycoon Leng Navatra's development project in Phnom Thamau, saying that he knows these rumors were the ploy of those who wish to paint him in a bad light. EAC News reporter Anthony Ellis has the details. Criticism for good is different from fabricating accusations from slander, said Lieutenant General Hun Manet. While speaking at the inauguration ceremony of the headquarters of a brigade number 128, first military zone in Stung Treng province on Thursday, he said that he was aware of the fabricated accusations made by a foreign environmental activist, Alex Gonzalez Davidson, who has a network of people who spread fake news in the markets of towns of the Takao province. The fabrication in this case is the claim that Lieutenant General Hun Manet was the one really responsible for the development project in Phnom Tamal Forest, with Tycoon Leng Navatra acting as the public face. Lieutenant General Hun Manet stressed that he was not behind the development project in Phnom Tamal Forest and was inv- not involved in any business with Tycoon Leng Navatra. He said, so whoever made these accusations that Leng Navatra is the one of my guys because he joined my youth group, please stop. The Army Commander-in-Chief said he always welcomes debate with responsible people, but would not waste time talking with the irritable people. Tycoon Lang Navatara released a voice message on Thursday denying any allegations that he planned to use Phnom Tamal forest land to collect timber for sale, money laundering and with powerful people backing him. He said, It is very unfair to me as a young man and a company employee, always trying to help society, sacrifice everything, but then receive back rejection and insult to this evil degree, it is most painful. Phnom Tamal, located 40 kilometres from Phnom Penh, has 400 hectares zoological park with a total forest land area of 2,300 hectares surrounding the zoo. 1,500 hectares of the forest area was previously handed over to private development. Prime Minister Hun Sen on Sunday 7th of August announced his decision to cancel all land exchanges and development projects on Phnom Tamal forest land, ordering the companies clearing the forest to replant the trees. He wrote on his Facebook page, the land and the forest around Phnom Tamal Zoo should be kept protected and conserved by the Ministry of Agriculture. He said this is a decision was made due to there was many requests from the people to stop the clearing of the forest land in the area. Anthony Ellis, EAC News.